Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to BISP Self-Learning Video Broadcast Solution. Today I am going to discuss a very interesting topic in Salesforce that is how to export data into an Excel sheet using Visual Force. Although we have various ways to export the data into, a, into an Excel sheet from Salesforce, so first is the first way is either we can use a data loader which uh, I have already explained in my existing videos that how to export the data by using a data loader. Another way is we can export the data into, into an Excel sheet by using reports. And the third way is by using a visual force or by creating a visual force page and an Apex, an Apex class we can export the data into an Excel sheet. So today I am going to tell you the same that how to export the data or from from an object based on a specific condition into an Excel sheet through a, by using a Visual Force page. So for this, first of all, let's see the scenario. The scenario is as you can see here. That's my in this that's my Salesforce, and in this Salesforce application, I have got one position object. this position object has got number of records and so first of all I would like to export all the data into an Excel sheet including the position name, the maximum pay, minimum pay and location four fields and later on I would I will be going to show you that how to export the data into an Excel sheet based on a certain condition let's suppose the maximum pay will is greater than 30,000 or 40,000 so we'll be going to cover two scenarios in this video so let's start with the first scenario that how to export the data with position name maximum pay minimum pay and location in an Excel sheet so let's create a visual force page so for this I'm going to create one Visual Force page and uh, export sample data. That's the name of my Visual Force page. I create this page. And so let's, so what will be the code? So code will be, first of all, let me eliminate this or remove this existing code and I write I add a controller controller let's say controller name is position query then content type so content type will be application slash vnd dot ms excel that's the format in which format we would like to export the file hash the name of the file the uh, the excel file so I write position export dot cls so while exporting the file when the file will be export or the data will be export that this will be the name of the file the exported file and at the end I write cache I set it to true. Then I create apex colon page block title is equal to position exported data. Then apex colon page block table and value is equal to CS where is equal to false and I add then we need to add the columns so I add column I, I need four columns position name maximum pay minimum pay and location so I add it four times one or oh value is equal to POS POS dot name then 
copy this three more times two three four position dot name then I want max may so what's the API name of that max pay this we can get it from here so the API name of max pay is max underscore pay underscore underscore C so I paste it then we want min pay so min pay is minimum pay underscore underscore C and the last one is I want I want location so location is location underscore underscore C save this we'll get an error message controller this position query controller does not exist so create this controller and in this controller we need to write a code so let's write the code here so what will be the code so first of all I'm going to create a list list of position underscore underscore C CS this should be same as this name CS and get set then we need to create one constructor public and position query this constructor so this constructor will be going to extract the data and store into this list so here CS is equal to new list position underscore underscore C let me make it and here I write for position underscore underscore C colon I write a SQL query select ID comma name now we need to extract the columns we would like to save in uh, in the exported file so I want name maximum pay minimum pay location so name comma maximum pay so maximum pay we can copy from here max pay comma min pay comma location location from position underscore underscore C and bracket and in this we write cs dot add c so once it is successfully done let's check this so how to check this we need to simply save this and as soon as save this you will found that a file has been start downloading on my system that salesforce export that's the name of the file and when I open this you'll find uh, and when I open this, see the position exported data. That's the the title which we have given over here. Position exported data, and the columns which we have added. The position name, max pay, minimum pay, location. Position name, max pay, minimum pay, and location. So like this, we can extract the data into an uh, export the data into an Excel sheet by using a Visual Force page. And if you want to add some condition, let's say we have the maximum pays twenty thousand, thirty thousand, fifty thousand. I would like to extract, or I would like to export only those maximum pay or those record whose maximum pay is less than or sorry greater than 20,000 so for this we need to only change the query we need to add a where clause in this query so from position where max underscore pay underscore underscore C greater than equal to 20,000 so we have added the where clause and now if I'll save it so as soon as I saved it a file will be downloaded on this my system and when I open this file I'll find out the maximum pay is more than equal to, greater than equal to 20,000 so these are the positions whose maximum pay is greater than 20,000 so like this we can export the data into an Excel sheet by through uh, using a visual post page so that's all in this video if you have any questions you can visit our website www bispeedtrainings.com or bispeedsolutions.com 
or you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more interesting videos. Till then, have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.